get rid of the Jeep and the trailer. And now I'm jumping in Porig's Mark II to go to the show. Having the Jaguar on the body. EBS. Alloys. Rough and ready. Mini lights. Civvies on the front. Some gear. Clover leafs. Larry Crossbow in the back. Over bucket side repeaters. Fishnet seats, retro Ford goodies, aero catches, polished trims, free cross flow in the boat, left hand drive, blinged up engine bay, loving that. The only one in the country. Rear window louver, it's been switched out for a group B spec. That interior, what would you call that? Beige. Started getting ideas about building a sort of rally car. Four door with rally arches, exhaust manifold, gaskets blowing. I think they call that duck egg blue. Proper holy grail, one of 10. Dermot's gonna open the bonnet so we can have a look at the heart of the beast. Welcome to this video. I'm Marcus Hayes, and today is day five, six of my island trip. I don't know, I'm losing track. I've seen so much over the last few days. Last night, we went and met the guys that organize this weekend's run and show. That's the Irish Escort Owners Club, and I will leave links in the description to their social media. Definitely go and check them out. But yeah, we went and met those guys, had some dinner, and yeah, we were talking about cars until stupid o'clock in the morning, which was awesome. Now today is the day of the inner show and show, and today's also the day that we're leaving this Beautiful accommodation. It's another wet day, but we won't let that dampen our spirits. We will have one last look at this beautiful place we've been staying at. All right, so my Uber driver today is Paparazzi Pat. <laughs> 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 Just stopped off a guy called Brian's place. He was actually at the summit last year with his Opel Ascona and Porrig's giving the Mark II a bit of a wash. Damien's place to get rid of the Jeep and the trailer. And now I'm jumping in Porig's Mark II to go to the show. So we've made it to the show. Plenty of really cool cars here and the weather's improved. Check out the Mark II Jag, very flash. Having the Jaguar on the bonnet. This one's got a very posh red interior. Got Porig's Pinto powered Mark II Escort rally car that we came in in. Parked next to a Monza GSE. Looks like it's sitting on BBS alloys. Really clean inside and out. That's really cool. Got a Chrysler Sunbeam over here, looks like a bit of a barn find. I think that's Star Mags it's sitting on. Original interior in it and stuff. I think it's really cool to see cars like this that are rough and ready. Next to the Sunbeam, got this old Granada. Parked next to that, VW Camper. All sorts of stuff here, but there is also loads of Escorts. A red Mark II Escort Mexico. The Sibby's on the front, running on mini lights. Loving the goldy centers and the polished rim. I think they're roll tops in there, not sure. RS steering wheel, all the goodies. Next along got an AE86, and then another Mark II Escort. This one's got all the rally arches on it and stuff. Sibby's on the front, looks like it's on the five spoke revolutions. Bucket seats inside, TRS harnesses. A Calibra over here. Check out the SAF Cosi. Park next to a Mordor Mark II Escort. With Sibby's on the front, sitting on mini lights. Pretty original looking inside. Really nice chrome around this car. Love the color as well. That's right, a gear. Mark III Escort XR3, I assume. Sitting on the clover leaves. Covers on the seats. <laughs> Love these things. Mark III RS Focus, up next to a really cool Mark I Escort Mexico. Sitting on mini lights. Right. Larry Crossflow in the bay, running on side draft Webbers. Yeah, love that. Right, 
<laughs> Another Mark 1 Escort here, sitting on what I think are the 7J RS alloys. And then another Mark 1 here, sitting on Revos. Again, with spotlights on the front. Cobra buckets in there. Check out the Mark 1 Escort 1300E. Got the spotlights on the front and the overriders on the bumpers and the side repeaters, which are all 1300E features. It's really original and mint inside. Has have an RS steering wheel. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, Esther, my Mark 1 Escort started off as a 1300E, although there's no 1300E features left on there now. Really cool signal yellow Mark 2 Escort RS2000. They look so cool in this colour. The wider RS alloys. Iconic fishnet seats in there. It's actually got a brown interior. Check that out. Check out this beautiful black Mark II Escort sitting on five spoke revolutions. It's got the rally arches in the bay. It's a black top Z Tech. Looks like it's got all the retro Ford goodies, like the water rail. I'm guessing it'll be on retro Ford mounts as well. Got the BDA style rocker cover running on Gen V throttle bodies. It's actually a really cool folder here showing pictures of the restoration. Definitely been built properly. Yeah, check out how nice the black paint is. Mint inside as well. Cheeky fire extinguisher hanging on the roll cage. Really nice install in the boot. Alley fuel tank, spare wheel in the middle of the boot. Really cool pump and filter setup. And the battery's relocated to the boot in a nice alloy box. Yeah, that's stunning. This Sierra Sapphire is really cool. Sitting on 13 inch wheels. It's got a Recaro interior in there as well. Old Corolla over here, parked next to a beautiful Olympic blue Mark I Escort RS2000. Got the Sibby lights on the front, really cool that they've color coded the backs of them as well. Aero catches on the bonnet. Obviously, RS alloys. But yeah, really, really drawn to this car in the best color, in my opinion. But I am a bit biased. <laughs> Check out this signal yellow Mark II Escort Mexico. Sibby's on the front. Pinto in the bay, I'm guessing they probably switched it for a two litre one. Loving the colour coded rocker cover, running on a twin choke, really cool KN air filter. Yeah, these things look so good in signal yellow. Lovely. Saw this red Mark 1 yesterday. It's got a Mark 2 Escort front spoiler blended in, and it's got a Toyota 4 AGE motor in it. Another AE86, parked next to a beautiful four door Mark 2 Escort 1600 gear. Look how mint that engine bay is. The original 1600 Crossflow. Sitting on the original Steelies with the polished trims. Obviously gear badge. Mint inside and out. And loving the Louvre on the rear window. Lovely Anglia 105E <laughs> with its pre-Crossflow in the bay. Check out the E30 BMW M3 with its iconic wider arches. Left-hand drive as they all are and really cool spoiler on the back. These things are so rare and expensive nowadays. Check out the really clean Series 2 RS Turbo, sitting on 17-inch alloys, kind of reminiscent to Escort Cosy wheels. And speaking of Escort Cosies, we've got one literally parked right next to the Series 2 RS. And these are the larger Escort Cosworth style alloys. These are 18-inch. Check out the really blinged up engine bay. Loving that. Really clean inside as well. Got the leather Recaros. Iconic spoiler. Awesome. And I saw this thing, I had no idea what it was, but apparently it's a Ford Capri Club Sport and the only one in the country. Yeah, really cool. Never seen one of these before in my life. Very strange, but very cool. Modern Mondeo, parked next to this white Mark II Escort Mexico. Got Sibby spotlights on the front, sitting on mini light alloys. It's really nice. Four door Mark III Cortina GT, sitting on mini lights. Got two Sibbies on the front. Check out the furry seats in there. And loving the rear window louvre. Really nice colour this car as well. And that's parked next to a Orion gear. Check out this mint old Audi 80 Quattro. The owner was telling me that the cylinder head is actually off of a non-turbo and the turbo itself has been switched out for a Group B spec one. Check out the really cool Mark V Cortina gear. Got one of the limited edition green Fiesta STs with a checkered flag roof. Parked next to this mint Mark II Escort RS2000. This plate kind of stands out to me actually. It kind of droops new ish 
maybe not. Anyway, sitting on the wider RS alloys and check out that interior, what would you call that, beige? Yeah, absolutely mint. Looks really cool against the paint color, beautiful. I remember this four door rally arched Mark II from the Summit event last year, sitting on mini lights, Got the front spoiler on there, some sort of bucket seats inside, RS steering wheel. And yeah, I remember when I saw this at Summit, that was just when I decided to pick up my latest Mordor. And yeah, started getting ideas about building a sort of rally car, because obviously I was over here checking out loads of rally cars. And yeah, this made me realize that a Mordor can look pretty cool with rally arches. But I have now, of course, decided to do my beige Mordor standard-ish, and I'm still sticking to that brand. Check out this pair of Chevettes. This one was on the run yesterday, doing one wheel peel donuts. But yeah, the owner also owns this one, which is a HSR. That's why it's got the wider arches on it. Got a 2.3 litre lump in there, running on 48 Webers. He's actually telling me that the reason this didn't come to the run yesterday is because the exhaust manifold gasket is blowing. And you can imagine how difficult that job's gonna be. It's really tight to the inner wing. But yeah, this thing is really cool. Check out the pattern on the seats inside. Awesome. Love that. Yeah, the owner of the Chevettes was also really heavily involved in the restoration of this Mark Van Escort GT. I think they call that Duck Egg Blue. This car's absolutely mint. Running the automatic gearbox. And the Chevette owner also painted this Mark I Escort 1300E. And I kind of assumed that that wasn't the original colour on this 1300E, but apparently it was. Yeah, didn't know that they came in this colour. It's got the spotlights on the front as a 1300E would. I think it should have overriders on the bumpers, but yeah, really cool looking car. Check out this Mark II Escort, Mexico. Got the four spotlights on the front, front spoiler down there. It's actually just chatting to the owner of this car and he was telling me that he goes on all the lakes tours and stuff back home yeah this car gets well used and well enjoyed but he does also own a mint 6000 mile rs2000 that he doesn't drive another mark to escort mexico next to it in signal yellow this one doesn't have any spotlights on the front unlike a lot of the cars here but this mark to escort van that we saw the other day sitting on five spoke revolutions this belongs to connor kelly who we went to visit the other day if you haven't checked out that video, do go back and look at it. So yeah, he's got an awesome collection of cars. I can see at least one more of them over there. Got a really, really old Supra here. Loving that. Next to that, the green Celica we saw the other day. Really cool. And next to that, the Mark One Escort RS 1600 that we saw the other day. Iconic BDA lump in the bay. Running on side drafts. Yeah, this thing is probably one of my favorite cars that I've seen on this trip. Proper holy grail Mark I Escort RS1600. The owner of the RS1600 also owns this Chevette that we saw the other day. His name's George, by the way. I met so many people and I'm useless at remembering names. So sorry to any of you guys that I have met and I haven't mentioned your name. Yeah, and this Chevette is one of 10. Really cool checkered sort of pattern, or tartan sort of pattern on the interior. Yeah, it's a HSX, one of 10. That's why it's got these really wide arches on it. Well, flat front RS2000 Mark II here. The broad stripe, it's obviously an early one with the FORD on the grill instead of the Ford badge. Looks really cool sitting on the really wide RS alloys. Dermot's gonna open the bonnet so we can have a look at the heart of the beast. <laughs> NA Cosy running on side drafts. Really cool Simpson stainless manifold. Obviously running bias pedal box, really cool alloy rad. I bet that goes well. <laughs> awesome. And we'll have a peek at the HSX engine bay as well. Obviously Vauxhall red top running on side drafts. Yeah, awesome car, this is proper rare beast. But this Mark 1 Mexico is definitely right up my street in the correct color. Sibby's on the front, the really wide RS style alloys. Got a set of Recaros in there with a really cool checkered pattern on them aftermarket steering wheel still got the rear seats fitted yeah love an olympic blue mark one and then part next to that we've got a really cool 1600 sport mark ii loving the front spoiler on it sitting on wide rs alloys looks like it's got 
roll tops in there, are they? I'm not sure. It's got the four spoke RS steering wheel. Looks like this car has also been on quite a few of the Lakes tours over in England. But yeah, that's a really cool car. And the Mark II Escorts just keep coming. Check out this red Mexico. Civvies on the front, front spoiler, RS alloys. Got some sort of buckets in there, they look quite modern. They're sort of leather reclining buckets. Three spoke RS steering wheel. Again, loads of Lakes Tour stickers on the dash. Awesome. And next along, another 1600 Sport, this time in bright green. Really smart. Four spoke RS steering wheel in there. Again, with a really cool front spoiler on it. Now, there is a few people that have left, but there's also a few people that have shown up and parked near Porig's car since I was filming over that end. So let's go and grab some shots of them. Got an old GLS Cavalier over here, parked next to that. What looks like another Mark II Jag, and then Subaru Impreza parked next to that. Another Sierra Sapphire over here in this corner. Looks really cool in the Escort Cosworth alloys. Love the stance on this thing. Check out the bright yellow Capri. Got really wide arches on the back. It's got a V8 lump in the bay. What a monster. All right, everyone seems to be making the move now. Quite a lot of people have already gone. get some clips of some of the cars leaving. This is a really, really ideal venue for this sort of thing. Speaking to one of the guys that work here, he was saying how it's a really key place for the community. Not only do the kids get somewhere to play, but it's a really cool place for events like this to take place. I will leave some links in the description to the social media for this place. Here comes my Uber. <laughs> they said go sideways. We gave them what they wanted. Awesome day at the Inner Show and Show. Massive shout out to the Irish Ford Escort Owners Club and the guys that run the venue of the show. Right now, we need to get Porig's rally car back on the trailer and then we're going to be heading back to Porig's area. Yeah, we're back in uh, Porig's area now. That's where the Twin Cam Mark 1 Escort was the other day. We've seen a load of rally cars go past us. And that's because there's a bit of a rally, well I say a bit of a rally, an actual rally in Enniskillen tomorrow, which we might be going to check out. This is my hotel for tonight. Well, it's no sleeve Russell, but it'll do. All right, time to go and grab some pizza. No time to drop the Mark II off at Porig's place because we've booked a table. Uh, this is where we're having pizza and outside a cheeky Mark II Fiesta. Check that out. 1989. Mint. <laughs> Mint. Fair play to you, mate. 38,000 miles. Really? Yeah. Just MOT today as well. Probably one of the best ones left. <laughs> I've actually got a pizza that's named after my beautiful girlfriend, Kat. So, just got back to my hotel. Porig's got some family business to deal with this evening. So, I'll be catching back up with him tomorrow when we're probably going to go and check out this local rally here in Enniskillen. But yeah, this has been another epic day on this island trip. It is absolutely nuts how much stuff I've seen while I've been here and how many awesome people I've met while I've been here. But yeah, do have one more day left on this trip. And yeah, it'd be really cool to see some rallying happening 
We've already seen loads of Mark II Escort rally cars coming into the town when we were coming back into the town from where we was earlier. Unfortunately, wasn't quick enough to get my camera out to <laughs> get a clip of any of them going past. But now I want to send another massive thanks out to the Irish Ford Escort Owners Club. They were so welcoming. It was really cool to meet you all. And yeah, if you're anywhere near that town called Muff, or even if you're not anywhere near it, that run and show is definitely worth checking out. So yeah, go and follow the Irish Ford Escort Owners Club on Facebook. I don't know if they've got an Instagram page, but if they have, I'll leave a link to that in the description along with their Facebook page. But yeah, I had so many people coming up to me today and praising me for my videos and stuff, which is always really cool. A couple of people having photos taken with me, which I'm always happy to do even though it is a bit weird going to these places and getting recognised. I'm just really grateful for all the support. Also, massive shout out to that community centre that holds the event in their place. And it's a really cool little community venue for various different events and it's got a really cool play area for the local children. Anyway, I think that's enough waffling. So I'm going to end this video here. If you did think it was any good, please do give it a thumbs up and a share. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Click subscribe to keep up to date with all my future uploads and check the links in the description to my social media and my website. I'll also leave a link to my Patreon down there. Massive, massive thanks to all my patrons. I really, really appreciate your support. And I'll leave my email address down there for anyone who wants to contact me. But other than that, until next time, thanks for watching.